What do the wrong makeup and alcohol have in common? They're both everyday things that age your skin. We're taking action for your health tonight with the 10 ways you may be aging your skin right now. It feels um, kind of like a, you know, like a rotary brush. Wendy Peterson, who is in her middle 40s, is hoping a new micro-needling procedure with a human growth factor will help keep her skin looking young and healthy by stimulating the growth of collagen. Her biggest complaint? So I get dark spots sometimes from sun exposure and um, lack of sleep sometimes. Jessica Bull, a registered medical assistant at Skin Envy, says there are 10 everyday things that most of us do that age our skin. Number 10, wearing the wrong makeup. They can clog our pores. The answer, a more natural makeup or making sure you take all your makeup off daily. Number nine is not exercising enough and number eight, neglecting your eye health. A lot of times when someone's maybe in need of glasses and they're squinting a lot, that's gonna cause fine lines and wrinkling around the eyes. Um, so it's always important to keep up with regular eye checks. Jessica says eye creams and even Botox can help with aging around the eyes. Six, five, and four, you probably already know. That smoking, sunbathing, and too little sleep can affect how your skin looks. Jessica says precancerous lesions on your skin can be treated with FDA-approved lasers. This time of year, stress and alcohol are also biggies. That, again, can deplete oxygen. People that are rosacea-prone can be a flare for rosacea. Alcohol is also dehydrating. Number two is hormone imbalances. Think teens and acne, also women and menopause. But the number one skin ager may surprise you. It surprised me. Eating too many processed foods. There's a lot of chemicals in processed food. There's a lot of sugar. Um, sugar, we know, causes glycation in cells. That breaks down our collagen. How many of these affect Wendy's skin? I would say, other than smoking, um, all of them. <laughs> So what can you do? Treatments like that new and latest micro-needling procedure will help. But three other top ways, Jessica says, are eating a healthy diet, including staying away from those processed foods if you can, wearing sunscreen daily, and drinking plenty of water. For more information on any of my health stories, head over to my Facebook page. Look for Linda Hurtado, WFTS, under Pages, and like the page.